Hey guys, welcome to my video installation tutorial for um, Rife Video Frame Interpolation. This installation tutorial is for Windows machine and preferably NVIDIA graphics card. And if you do not have an NVIDIA graphic card, there might be workaround, but I haven't tested it, but I'll be going through it still and you can try yourself and tell me if it actually works. So what you have to do first is to open up your Anaconda prompt. If you don't have an Anaconda prompt, you can go to my 3D and painting installation tutorial my on my video dump channel and you can go from 1 minute 26 to 2 minutes and I'll be going through quickly how to install anaconda prompt. It's really straightforward so I think directly installing them you'll probably be fine with that. But if you don't know go you can go watch that video. And first we will want to download this repository and find a destination that you want to um install your rife at so let me grab my disk so i want to open up my file path and then drag this in to where you want to install it you have to extract it and then you can delete the zip folder you can rename this to just rife and go in and then you see oh everything is in here and then you're all set so the next thing you want to do is to um, go up to here, this link, download the pre-trained models from here. So you want to click on this link and then download this zip. I'm not going to download it since I already have it and download it. And you have to keep in mind that the file, uh, file size is pretty big for um, paths. So you have to keep in mind that you have enough space basically to store those um, paths. And what you have to do after you download it is to create a folder and then name it to train underscore log and press enter. And then you want to open it and then you want to put these three files in here. So after you download this zip, you unzip it and you want to put these three files in here. And I already have it downloaded, so here's mine. I'm gonna copy and paste real quick. And here. And it should be like this, exactly. And now you can go to your Anaconda prompt. And now we want to create a virtual environment for um, our Rife uh, AI. Um, so you want to, to copy the first command. I'll put this note down in the description so you can copy it easier. And I'll paste it here conda create dash in Rife space python equals 3.6 and then i'm just gonna change the name differently a bit because i already have rife as an environment so i'm gonna use rife too just to go over with you guys so you can have rife name but in this case i'm gonna use rife too so if you're not sure yourself you can still use rife too but you can definitely just use rife so you you want to type conda activate rife 2 to activate that environment and we will want to install dependencies onto this environment. So for the next line, um, we want to install this dependency. But before that, you, you want to ensure that you have Cuda Toolkit installed, especially this Cuda Toolkit 10.2. So if you do not have this installed, um, you can look over to my last um, installation tutorial for Sky AR from 2 minute 14 to around here. Um, yeah, I went through how to properly install Cuda Toolkit 10.2. Well, I didn't really go through that much, but I, I skipped the installer part, but other stuff for like adding path, I explained it there. So if you don't have that installed, go to that video and then check out to your code to Cuda Toolkit is installed. And after um, you installed it, you want to paste this command here. And if you do not have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can go to, um, you can go copy this line of code instead. So I'll paste it here. It'll be CPU only. So this will be running on your CPU instead of your graphic card, which may be slower, but depending on your CPU, it may run the same speed. So the next thing we want to pip install TQDM. And then you have to type Y here, by the way, I'm sorry I skipped that, but you had to type Y there. And for the next one, you want to pip install numpy and then pip install OpenCV Python. And now you're all set 
Uh, okay, so now you want to go to your um, tutorial. There you go. So we want to go to Rife. Yeah, there you go. CD Rife. All right, so it should look like this. Okay, so now you put um, a video that when you want to interpolate, you just have to copy this um, line of uh, code from below and then edit this video, video MP4 thing to your video file name. And then you can basically paste this here, press enter, and then it will start doing the magic. So it will tell you here that it's um, it has 350 frames in total and it's changing from 24 fps to 96 fps so it's basically um making four times the frame you can make it with just one uh two times by typing in one in the exp instead here and yeah now you just have to wait and then the result will be this file and when this taskbar finished running whoa where do you go when that bar finished running you basically have a um what's it AI boosted video if that's what you want to call it um, <laughs> oh yeah if your video ever got stuck like that uh, you have to press enter press press back to the prompt and press enter I was wondering why it wasn't running Oh, you can see how much time left here and how much I've gone through and how much time it took already, which is pretty, pretty convenient. I'd say it's stuck again. Why is that happening? Okay. Now after it's done, you can look at the result and it's, it will be pretty obvious, uh, if you have a refresh rate that's higher than, than th 60. If it's over that the interpolation is if it's over 90, uh, I mean 60 FPS. So you can see that here frame rate it's encoded in 96 frames per second. You can check by going through um, VLC pressing E. You can see that there there are extra frames being added, and and the original is um, uh, 20, 24. And yeah, that's that's it. You can see the difference easily and i wouldn't say easily but but it, it probably can be pretty easy once you play it together and yeah that's it for this installation tutorial if you have any questions you can head over to my discord channel i'll link that in the description and if you want to support me check out my patreon and thank you guys for watching uh see you guys next time